Hello all. So we'll continue with the last part of this tutorial. Modeling a locomotive steam engine in 3ds Max. So we have few details which are left out. We'll be just completing those details over here. Like very first of all, uh, we have few details like this over here that can be uh, easily generated. So if you go over here and if you want we can just push that down We keep it as it is, no change. So select this. We can just go into this. We'll just select this part over here. Let's just duplicate it. So there are many ways if you want, we can do it in the other way also. So let's just uh, push that out. let's generate this few details which are left out over here so select this 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 so let's select these details and let's use a mirror option over here in x-axis and let's make a copy of it so just push that up So again, take one more copy. So select this all. So just duplicate it. So let's uh, duplicate this over here so we need to duplicate this over here also scale it can just duplicate this can just push it inside push it up so exclude this So let's duplicate, let's make some copies over here, save your file. So now if you see this over here, if you want that this part should be extended, you can extend this a bit down so 
so if you want you can just extend it save your file so So any details, such kind of details, we can mirror it on the other side. So once your selection is done, I can again go over here, uh, I'll just mirror it, okay, just mirror it on the other side. So save your file again over here. Make sure you check the details. All right. So once you're done, you can just uh, save your file. That's it. Over here, we can uh, just push this up same here we can just select this and let's just push this up over here so we have done with this tutorial So thanks for watching this tutorial.